Astronomy GCSE Topic 15 More Galaxies. Now, our galaxy is part of something called a local group. There's about 80 galaxies in our local group, two main clusters, one of them around the Milky Way, the other one around Andromeda. Andromeda and the Milky Way are the two big galaxies in our local group. Our local group are the galaxies which have a gravitational effect on each other. They if affect each other gravitationally. Okay. Um, all of the other galaxies are too far away. All of the other 200 billion galaxies, gravity is too weak to affect us. Learn the names of some stars in the local group. There's Andromeda, which is about two and a half million light years away. There's one called Triangulum. Uh, and there's the small and large Magellanic clouds, which you can see from the Southern Hemisphere. Ferdinand Magellan, a very famous explorer. Edwin Hubble. Now, it was once thought that the Milky Way was the universe. And within the Milky Way, there were these things called nebula, and some of them were kind of spirally shapes and things, but they were just clouds of gas within the Milky Way. Edwin Hubble figured out that they were actually other galaxies, okay? And he looked at hundreds of galaxies and he classified them by their shape. And the different types of galaxies are elliptical, lenticular, spiral, and irregular. Elliptical galaxies are ellipse-shaped from E0 to E7. Uh, lenticular galaxies, meaning they're shaped a bit like a lentil, okay, and that's uh, a bulge inside an ellipse, but no spiral arms. Spiral galaxies have spiral arms, uh, and about half of them have this bar shape in the middle. So they're a spiral and barred spiral. Remember that the, the Milky Way is an SBB galaxy. Uh, S A S B S C tells us how tightly wound the spirals are and then irregular galaxies have no regular structure. This is Hubble's tuning fork diagram which is a way of remembering the classification of galaxies. Okay so you've got the ellipticals on the side there. Be able to sketch this by the way. The ellipticals on the side there's the lenticular one in the middle there, there's the spirals and the spiral barred ones there. There is some debate as to what kind of galaxies are the older ones and which ones are the younger ones. Now it is now thought that the spiral galaxies are younger because the spiral galaxies contain more regions of star birth and elliptical galaxies contain more older stars. And when we look at the older universe, we see that there are more spiral type galaxies. So scientists now believe that the spiral galaxies are younger than the elliptical galaxies. Here are two galaxies colliding together to form uh, an irregular galaxy. And interestingly, Andromeda and the Milky Way in about five billion years are going to do this and they will lose their spirals and become an elliptical galaxy. Some more facts about the, the Milky Way and the universe. We'll start with the Milky Way, about 200 billion stars, uh, about 100,000 light years in diameter. I've told you it's part of the local group, which is about 80 galaxies that feel each other's gravity. Uh, the size of that is about 10 million light years. Remember that Andromeda is about two and a half million light years away from us. Uh, the local group is part of the Virgo cluster, which is about 2000 galaxies. Uh, there's a cluster, then there's the super cluster, which is about 100 clusters. And then the universe contains about 10 million super clusters. So this is working our way outwards. Here's a very nice picture of the Virgo supercluster. If you look at that, can you find the Virgo cluster there? 